Today we are taking a quick look at this new LED grow light by Max Bloom. This light features a 12 band spectrum ranging from UV to infrared, which when turned on basically appears to have all the colors of a rainbow, even green. Both the large LED cobs and the small LEDs are covered by 90 degree lenses. The smaller LEDs are all controlled by one dimmer switch which is specifically for the vegetative stage of growth. The other dimmer switch controls the two large LED cobs for the flowering stage which are a very bright pure red color. When I first took the light out of the box, the first thing I noticed was its weight. Although this light is relatively small, it weighs a hefty 10 pounds. The light plus the overall feel of the light itself suggests a rigid build quality and ample heatsink. The dimmer switches are very smooth and are clearly marked with output percentages. Here you can see the wattage consumption as both dimmers are increased to max output. Both sets of LEDs consume around 100 watts with the two cooling fans running around 8 watts in total. The two red LED cobs consume about 10 watts more at max output versus all the LEDs used for the vegetative stage. So the total output for this light is around 217 watts. I also took a par footprint of this light using a 3x3 grid. I did this at three different heights at max output shown in these diagrams and also compared it to a white LED high bay light which consumes around 238 watts. If you are interested in the high bay light, you can click the link in the description for the review I did on that light as well. I will be using the high bay light against this light from Max Bloom for a grow test coming very soon. I am very excited to start a grow like this because this is the first time I will be comparing a good quality true tuned spectrum LED grow light versus a white LED light. Although this will not be an apples to apples comparison, I will be making sure the light intensity at the plant canopies will be the same. It will be mostly a grow light observation and not a spectral observation like I have done in other videos in which the links will be shown at the end of this video. The videos throughout the process will be posted in a journal format with updates twice a week. So if you wish to follow along, you can subscribe or click the link in the description for the playlist to see all the videos as they are posted. For additional info, you can refer to the links below or leave a question in the comments. I will be giving my overall thoughts on this light in the final video of this series, so stay tuned and thanks for watching.